Hey, and welcome. I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to reinstall your NVIDIA video card drivers to help fix some issues. And before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Now there's a few ways that we can do this. One is by using Windows to uninstall it. And you can also use the clean install option from the NVIDIA GeForce experience. And if you're still having issues after that, the other way is to use a software called DDU. And I will cover all three ways. So if you're having issues with your games, your streams, stuttering of any kind, video lag, and want to do a fast reinstall, let's get right to it. The first way I'll walk you through is the NVIDIA GeForce Experience because it is the easiest way and the fastest way to do a reinstall and it still does fix most common issues. The only reason why you would need to use a program like DDU is usually when you switch video cards from like AMD to NVIDIA. So we'll cover the GeForce Experience. To find the GeForce Experience you can type in start and just type in GeForce and it should come up with the GeForce Experience. Or you can go over here to your bar if you have it installed, right click on it and click on NVIDIA GeForce Experience to open it. When it loads up, from here it will have a Home tab and Drivers tab. We just want to click on the Drivers tab. Now if you're all up to date, you will have a currently installed and you can go over here and click on the More options and click here to reinstall the drivers. And if you have drivers available, I suggest actually downloading them and installing it and it will give you the same options for a clean install. When you do re reinstall drivers, it will come up. You can do express installation or custom installation. Click on the custom installation. Once that there loads up, it will take a minute. It will give you a few options and at the very bottom here, it will say perform a clean installation. From here, just click install and it will go through the process. This should give you the same options when you're downloading the drivers. So we'll go through that process as well. So if you have to download your drivers, just click the download and it will take a minute to download all the drivers before you will get the options. Hold tight and we'll just be a minute. After it's downloaded, it's the same process. All we wanna do is click on custom installation. This is going to prompt you with something, you must click OK. It'll do its thing here, it'll take a second and it'll give you the same options. Just like before, click the perform clean installation. This is important if you just install the drivers and you have bad settings or something's wrong, you're having issues of some kind, if you don't perform a clean installation it won't fix anything at all. So if it's something that's done wrong and the drivers are corrupted things like installing it won't fix it. You must click the perform clean installation. This will also reset all of your individual game settings and a lot of your other user settings. So if you have like Apex Legends, for example, if you have the FPS hard capped at 120 FPS here, this here will have to be rechecked and reset. So just keep that in mind when you do the clean installation, it will reset all of your settings as well. So once you're here, just click the installation to get the process started. It will go through on installing it first, and then it will reinstall it after a restart. Okay, it will prompt you for a restart in 60 seconds. You can click the restart now if you're sitting there. If not, like if you went to grab a cup of coffee or something like that, it'll just restart on its own. Okay, we're going to restart it anyways, even though we have some applications open. We have everything saved. Make sure that you save your work before you restart. I don't suggest having a bunch of stuff open. Okay, once your computer's done restarting, it will load back up and continue the installation of your driver. That's why I picked this here way first. The GeForce Experience makes it easy to uninstall and reinstall your drivers. If your screen goes black a few times, don't worry. It's just it setting it back to its normal settings. You just need to click close after it's finished. I do suggest doing a restart after this process to make sure that everything's good to go. After it's all installed, you just after you click the close, I do suggest restarting your computer so that this here loads up, checks everything again. So that's something to keep in mind. When you're done doing that, I would try a restart before trying to do whatever it was you were having an issue with before. The next way I will inst uninstall the video card drivers is through Windows. This is a very simple way. This is how you would uninstall any normal program. All we need to do is click on the start menu and click on settings. In here, we'll look for apps where it says uninstall default optional features and click on that one. Now we should be able to find NVIDIA drivers here in the list. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down until we find them. And I see the drivers here. Now what we wanna do is uninstall every single one of them. Anything that says NVIDIA, uninstall it. So we're gonna uninstall this and the X GeForce Experience. Okay, and we're gonna just give it a quick restart. Once it restarts, load back into the same thing, go into your apps on install, and find all the things NVIDIA, anything that's left. Just make sure they're all gone. 
You see, after the restart, everything uninstalled, absolutely no problem at all. So if you are having a few problems and it comes up and says it's in progress, make sure that you restart your computer and that should fix that problem. There's probably a certain order that you're supposed to uninstall these in, but for now, we're going to restart again. So this will take, this is the second restart. Um, the first one may not have been needed. It, like I said, I'm not sure in what order you're supposed to uninstall them correctly. Just make sure they're all uninstalled. And this still may leave some registry behind, so I definitely suggest trying the NVIDIA GeForce way first, and then DDU the second time. The Windows uninstaller is very unclear, and it doesn't really specify what you're supposed to uninstall first. After, start, after it starts back up again, same place, we're going to go down here and find the NVIDIA stuff and finish on installing the ones that are left. Okay, and it will ask you to restart again. This is our third restart, so like I said, you may want to find a better order to do them in. Once it starts up again, same thing, go to the apps. Oops, the video card's installing in Windows. Once that's done, we got to load back up and go to NVIDIA's website and download the drivers again. So after you've uninstalled it with Windows, Windows will have the generic drivers available for you. But what we're going to do is just go over to the website and find the drivers that are good for us. And we do want the GeForce experience with ours as well. So we'll just go down here and we're going to go find our video card. So we got a GeForce, we're in the 1600, 1660 series. We got a 1660 and we want it for... Windows 10, Game Ready Drivers, and Search. All right, from here, we should be just able to download it. It will take a few minutes to download it. As it's 700 megabytes, so we'll be back in just a second. And once the download's done, just like any other install, we're just gonna click it from here. Depending on what browser you have, I'm just gonna click it from the browser, click yes, and we're just gonna install it to its default location so that we don't have any issues. If you install it somewhere else, you may have some issues, so please keep that in mind. This is just gonna bring you through your system and it's going to ask you at the very first if you want NVIDIA graphics drivers and the GeForce Experience. I 100% recommend the GeForce Experience to keep everything up to date. It allows you some flexible game settings as well. We're just going to click the agree and continue with the option here we want checked. Next, it's going to ask us for install options. We're going to go to the custom one again because Windows installs some old drivers and we did have an issue removing the physics in the windows installation so if you have any problems with that as well the installer in the custom installation should be able to give you the clean installation see a clean installation restores all nvidia settings to the default values and removes any profiles you may have created so this will clean up the problem we had with the physics engine so we're going to click this one here because i had it i had quite an issue there getting it Getting it on installed in Windows. For the install process, we're going to make sure that we do perform a clean installation just to make sure that we didn't leave anything behind from when we were trying to uninstall it. Just click next and this should only take a few moments. It may flicker black a few times and ask you to restart your computer as well, so keep that in mind, it's perfectly normal. All right, it's going to give you the finished here. It's going to say your drivers are installed, create a desktop shortcut for NVIDIA GeForce, and launch NVIDIA GeForce Experience. We're just going to click the close to finish up. We'll exit their website. In the GeForce Experience, you will have to log in, so take a minute to log in with your username and information. Once you're logged in, it's going to give you this here tour stuff. If you're, not, if you're new here, definitely take the tour. Um, and it's going to ask you to automatically optimize your game applications. I'm not going to check this because I do not want it to optimize my game applications. There is a few things I wouldn't mind it optimizing, but this will change all of my game settings that I have set. This will change everything. So if you skip it, it will keep all of your normal game settings the way they are. If you click optimize, it'll reset everything. You'll have to go in and when you change them again, like you just might lose settings. So I wouldn't click this if you have a lot of things, a lot of settings set in a lot of other games. Just click skip this for now. You can click on them one by one and optimize them later on if you want. Or in my case, I just don't want it to optimize Apex Legends because this one here has problems when it doesn't cap my frame rate. Okay, and you can go to here into the drivers. Make sure that you're all up to date. So you can click the check for updates and that's all there is to it for this one here. That's that's everything you need. If you run across the problem again, I suggest reinstalling it instead of doing it to the Windows. But to each his own, you may enjoy the Windows installer better. But that's all there is for this one here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to DDU the drivers. This is the best way. This will remove every registry. This will remove everything that is associated with the drivers. The very best way to remove them. So this way, all we need to do is just open up a browser and type in DDU. The first one that comes up, DDU. DDU, that's my bad. 
Bad spelling. The first one that comes up should be by Guru3D. They're not the makers, but it's a trusted download that I absolutely use every single time. Just give it a click. It will bring you to this website. It might look a little weird, but we just need to scroll all the way down until we see the download locations and click whatever mirror is closest to you. It doesn't really matter. Any one of them is good. Once it starts downloading, that's awesome. Now this one here actually is fairly complicated to run. It will take a few steps for us to do. What we're going to do is we're going to extract all here. And then what we need to do is we need to restart our computer. And we need to boot into safe mode for this to work. So this is going to remove everything associated with the drivers. This is the best way. All we need to do is click on the start menu. Click on the power option. Push shift. And then press restart. What this is going to do. This is going to bring up some options for like troubleshooting. And what it will do is it will allow us to boot into safe mode. It will say here, choose an option. Once this here page comes up, we want to pick troubleshooting. From here, we want to go to advanced options. We definitely don't want to reset our PC by accident. Go to advanced options and it should be start up settings. This will be able to change the way Windows starts up. So just give that one a click. It will give you the options here. It'll say enable low resolution, enable debugging, uh, boot loading, safe mode. There's the one we want and we'll just click restart. When it loads back up, it will give you all those options again, and it will be number four to boot into safe mode. Just press four once you're on the screen, and it will load into safe mode. Now, you may not have internet or anything like that while you're in safe mode. That's the whole point of safe mode. It's to keep like all of your very bare minimal drivers running instead of you needing instead of things being open that might be being used when you go to uninstalling this should prevent you from leaving anything behind all we need to do is go back to the downloads find our file by guru 3d and the ddu we'll just double click it now this here smart screen can't be reached right now but we're just going to click run because we do trust this it's going to say extract we're going to give it an extract and then we're going to give it a double click. It'll say display driver on installer. And we're just going to give that one a double click and run it. This seems to be the first time that you've launched DDU before you use this. Please know that by using DDU, depending on the problems and configurations, it could help or make things worse. You should have a backup. You should read the license, readme, and TOS. We are not responsible for any damage or loss to data of any kind. We are always willing to help you if there is a problem. We're going to click OK because that's fine. We're just going to close this one here. And then over here, it'll say select your device type. We're going to pick a GPU and then it should already be selected NVIDIA GPU. If you've had a, an additional one, you can un uninstall all of your different GPUs from here. But for now, we're just going to click the NVIDIA GPU. And at the very top, it'll say clean and restart. That's the one we're going to do. We're just going to clean and restart. And that's all there is that once we click the clean and restart, it should just take a few minutes and then it will restart your computer. It will say some things down here as it's doing some stuff, so you can actually watch what it's doing. Okay, now that it's all on installed, all we have to do is go back to NVIDIA's website and get the drivers. Go back to NVIDIA.com, we'll log in, we'll go through the same process we went through at the very first. We'll just click on drivers. We want... The 1660 it's perfect we'll just click search and download the same drivers and we just click download now we already downloaded these so we're just going to close this we'll go into our downloads and i'll double click the install file so once it's downloaded double click it in your downloads and click ok it will just take a few minutes to extract the file i suggest that every single time that you do an installation if you just have the Windows drivers, make sure that you always do a custom installation and always pick perform a clean installation every single time that you're putting the new drivers on just to make sure that it gets rid of what Windows puts on there for drivers that are out of date. So then we'll just click next and it will do the same process. It will load through the installation. It will remove all the drivers that are currently there, restart us, and then install the new drivers. So just hold tight. This will only take a moment. After it's installed, it's the same thing again. We're going to log into our GeForce experience. 
After you sign in, it's gonna ask you to automatically optimize your games. We're gonna say no and skip. Now from here, after you're logged into here, everything should be good to go. Make sure you restart before you give it a test though. Whatever you were having an issue with, whatever game it was, just make sure that you restart from here before that you do any tests, just in case. Uh, that is something that I always do. To remove the application, all we have to do is just give it a delete. We'll give both of those a delete. We do not, we no longer need those anymore. So we'll just give them a delete. We'll give those a close and we'll restart our PC. Okay, and after your computer's restarted, I hope that everything got straightened out. Whatever issue you may have been having with your video card, I hope it's resolved. It could be other things related, like there's a lot of things that can make your video card seem like it's not working that aren't related to your video card, like faulty programs. If you're still having the issue with whatever you're using, I suggest try uninstalling it and reinstalling it, because it actually might be the issue or settings in something that you're using. So definitely double check that. I would use it stock at first before playing with the settings. Mine is the things like make sure you recap your FPS if you had them and definitely go over your settings before you reinstall it or DDU it because like I said those things will be lost so you can either write down what you had take some screenshots but those are definitely helpful ways to make sure that you get back to where you were and do keep in mind that some of your settings may have been the issue is why resetting everything works so keep that in mind guys that's all there is to it if you think i forgot or left something out definitely leave it in the comments below and if you like or found this video helpful hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content thanks for watching